What's up, kings and queens? It's your girl, Big K, not the little one. And I'm back with another banger. So, before I get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell, y'all. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. So y'all don't miss a post, man. You want to know what I'm posting? Hit the bell, man. Hit that bell. So, today, I'm getting into a reaction. Let me tell y'all something. I love doing reaction videos. It's kind of hard, you feel me? Because I need a new camera. I need a new laptop, everything. So, I'm doing this off the phone, you feel me? And hard work and dedication, it shows, you feel me? Because it's a lot. But I love doing reactions, so I'm going to keep them coming. So, today, I'm doing a reaction on the Tell a Girls, the unofficial documentary of how the Tell a Girl started. So it sounds interesting. You know, I always wanted to know, how did the Taylor girls even come about? Of course, we know they sisters, Ty and Daisha. We know they sisters. But how did y'all come up with the Taylor girls? How did y'all start to say, like, you know, let's start a little rap group called the Taylor girls. So we about to get into this, y'all. watching the Taylor Girls off of YouTube and I think the first song I heard was um I think it's still her man or some shit something that was like popping on YouTube and shit yo that's fucking wild I didn't know they was rapping since little girls and shit but damn that's good to know like they really been been doing that shit yo that's crazy I'm looking at the video like this them for real that really them that's crazy and shit yo Shirts, 
that was our thing. Everywhere we went, we got 10, 15 girls plus. We taking care of all of them, making sure all of them eat, making sure all of them get to the show, making sure all of them struggle. We go out of town on some real boss shit. This was before we got to the money for real. So, you know, let's put that out there. So, we at Hold Up. That was uh, what gave us our first little push. Hold Up. And I know they remember that. Oh, look. We'll put it in there. We're going to write the clip. I don't even know what that write is. Write the clip. Pull up the world star views. It's stupid. Pull it up. Okay. I'm going to wait. Wait. Hold up. Hold up. Now, boost the sleeves. Don't go up. Yeah. So, you know, that's what we had. Yo. Okay. Yo, this shit is funny. Yo, Daisha was so fucking small, yo. Oh, my God, yo. This is like, this is crazy, but I'm glad that they did this because, like I said, I knew about the telegrams off of YouTube, yo. I ain't know they was really doing music like back in the day when they was kids and shit. I ain't know they really was doing that shit for real. But to touch on what they said about them remixes, them remixes to really get you there, yo. Like if you really into that rap and shit, do them hop on like ja like how Jockeys do. Niggas always talking shit about Jockeys, but when Jockeys hop on the remix, he do kill it though. He do do his thing and it go it go viral. You know, it'd be a hit song and it ain't even his shit. So, yeah, them remixes, they really take you somewhere. They ain't lying about that. Fast forward. So, we're doing that. Then me and Daisha became at, I want to say, a standstill. We was just like, damn, what can we do to better, to better yeah. further where we at right now, right? Okay. We're doing our music. We're getting a little recognition but it still ain't the recognition that we really want. Like that big major platform, that real voice, right? So we stepped away from music. Right. To just marinate and revamp. On what, yeah, to revamp. Like, okay, let's come up with something better that we could do. I did a video on Instagram. I wasn't expecting it to get no views. I wasn't expecting it to do anything. I just got on there and I basically reenacted. It was a viral dance that was going around when, um, damn, what the fuck was that shit? Hit them folks. That's exactly what it was. Yeah. Now Hit them folks was going around. So I did this funny video where I hit them folks, but I got stuck. Because I was making a point, like, that's all y'all folks do is hit them folks. Y'all keep doing that shit, get stuck. So I did a funny video and it went viral. That gave us the push into the era of doing funny you um funny Instagram videos. We started doing yeah. funny Instagram videos, incorporating our music, promoting for other people music, and okay. the funny videos just started to know. At this time, we were the only people, pretty much the only girls doing funny Instagram videos. Black Period. sisters on on right, Instagram. Right, right. We were like one of the most popular girls at the time. We got like, so many know. reposts from celebrities. In the kitchen. Hold up. In the kitchen. In the kitchen. In the kitchen with it. Today's culture. 
So we go down to a journey today. We down there. Things are so small. Let me tell you something. We bought one shirt from the journey. Okay, stupid. one shirt. We gave this lady a hundred dollars. Okay, the shirt was twenty-seven dollars. <laughs> so a hundred minus twenty-seven is seventy-three. So people, we can start getting a lot of celebrities, a lot of. A lot of influences, a lot of... And but this is people, what to me, plus but not even know. that, I want them to also understand that even though we were doing funny videos, all of our videos had a message. Right. Every one of them, whether y'all paid attention, if y'all go back and really look at the video and listen. and listen to what we're saying, we're being funny, but it was real life messages in there. We was telling y'all how to trust people, we was teaching y'all how to be ourselves, how to love yourselves, to do what the fuck y'all want to do and say and not give a fuck about what anybody y'all say and anybody's opinion. We was giving real messages in every video, every video. So at this point, we getting a lot of hits. We got a lot of different celebrities, they be posting our videos, our and numbers, we doing numbers at this point, we in the millions. You know, dang it, dang dang it. It. we're like, we're probably about three years, maybe two to three years in our career at this point. Because mind y'all, we've been doing music for going on about eight years now. So we're about three years in our career. We're right. going, we're hustling, we're doing funny videos. At this point, we, 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 we got to go, we got to keep it going. We bring our little sister Trinity in at this point. I, we all have to exercise. You don't even have a good Damn, girl. they been was putting Trinity in back in the day. We're doing the funny videos. And all of that, we then bring Trinity in and add her into the equation of the funny videos. At this point, we're about four years into our career. We right. Got Trinity, actually, y'all, we'll post them some of those funny videos. And we bring in Trinity, we talk about us. And she was a little, little girl. Little. We was, we was coaching her. We was like, look, be yourself. They love us for being ourselves. So the best advice that we can give you is to be yourself. Whatever comes to your mind, when the camera come on, just say it. Say it. Don't check with us. Don't look like you did nothing wrong. Say it. Cause it's, we just having fun. We're oh, having man. fun. So that's where we're at. We're in like four years. We still doing these funny videos. Now mind you, at this point, our music is still on a standstill because we are so hyped about how people are taken to us by being ourselves. But our real passion when we first started was music. Right. We And we still was doing music. Right. And the funny part about it was we were never no comedians. We never signed up to be, we never put right. out there that we was comedians. People just fucked with us because we was real genuine and it was shit that you never seen before. Right. Like these two crazy ass girls in the kitchen and black girls just doing crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? And Taking their wings off. We made people feel like it was okay to do shit. around and they crazy. Okay? So, so, fast forward, four years in a career, you do. I'm sitting on the, oh, and this is another thing. For those who keep saying this, Trinity did not write Still a Man. Y'all keep saying that and bring that it. up. She, she the one who wrote the song. She, she the one y'all on her back. She the one We paved the way for our whole entire family. Y'all gotta understand that. It started with us. Our dad instilled his knowledge, his skills into us, and then we took, and we took it and we ran with it. And now everybody in our family. So listen, for those who don't know how Still a Man was created, I said, Okay, we got a huge amount of time on. We okay. still for years. I know, but I'm saying we break it okay. in. Right. So they see those videos. So now I'm telling them how you got to go there. So at this point, Trinity is starting to be a part of a lot of our videos. So I'm like, damn, we got to put our music somehow in these videos. Right. How can we promote our mm -hmm. music so we can benefit off of this? We wasn't benefit off of it. We was not making no money by making y'all laugh, making y'all happy, making y'all, no, 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 you know, no, we no, wasn't. No, 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 no. We would, but that for real, for real, that shit wasn't nothing. You run through that, you buy the We were making a little money. We was making a little money. We was making money, right. but it wasn't to where we're at now. No, 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 no we was it wasn't, of course. it wasn't enough to be financially stable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just something to, you know, go buy you some shoes, go buy you some clothes, some shit like that. Eat out with your friends, go to the movies, go shit like that. Money. That's when we started taking a little bit of that money. Right. People started paying us, all type of stuff. Okay, whatever. So, I'm over here like, you know, we need to, you know, put our music into this to these skits. We need to figure out how to merge both of them together. And that's how Stiller Man came about. I started... Right, because I was a writer. I like to write. So I started to write comedy into music 
to where it's still music, it's but it's still freestyle. funny. It's freestyle. It's it's something that comes straight off the dome, and it's not something that you got to sit there and have four writers in a room and, and trying to make a hit. And so I was just like... I just want to say... I always knew it was something about Ty that I really liked. Like, I always knew it was something. I just couldn't figure it out what it is. And what a lot of people don't know about me is, I'm an artist, you know, I write music. Um, and I just struggle with, you know, I'm basically like a perfectionist, you know. Um, I want things how I want it. And if it's not like that, I don't want to drop it, which is a problem because I should still do it regardless. But a lot of people don't know, you know, I write music and I'm good at my shit. Like when I start dropping, I'm gonna start dropping. But I always knew it was something about her that I like. She a writer, she like me. We think we write our shit down and we really say some shit. It's like, I was just like, I Because for real, I feel like this video came about because after the verses, um, the Soldier Boy versus Bow Wow, they was like going viral, man, the shade room and all that. Because they were saying they wanted to do a versus the Taylor girls versus the um, OMG girls. So they was just going around and people was talking that crap. And I feel like what, putting no respect on the Taylor girls name. So this probably would spark them to come out with this video, bro. This shit funny as fuck, bro. Because it's like, at the end of the day, the OMG girls, the Taylor girls, all of them are beautiful black women, you know, um, doing that thing in the music industry. I hope that they can do a versus, you know what I'm saying? And it could be peaceful, just hit for hit. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, all fun and games, but 
Y'all must have, whoever, yo, comment down in the comments below and let me know what y'all know. Do y'all know if somebody was fucking with the Taylor girls and somebody was talking shit? Like, what the fuck is going on, bro? Because somebody is the reason why they made this video, bro. And I think it's that. We didn't come from that. They took our shit and gave it to y'all and changed it to the fucking TikTok. Okay? And we knew when TikTok was coming because we were the first ones to be notified because we were dumb bitches. <laughs> we had the biggest song hey, yeah. on Musical. So now look, TikTok at the time, because they switched musically to tick our numbers and and our streams and how many people we had dancing to our song was so big. We was at the announcement that musically wasn't musically no more. That's what I just did. So we knew. So where was all? Where was all the people that brought so much to the culture? Or find that? They didn't notify y'all because y'all didn't bring shit to their platform. We did. So they wanted us to be there. They wanted us to celebrate <laughs> that they are moving into something bigger now. So still a man takes off, right on the road. At this, we're still independent now. Hold on, cause they, you know, we still independent. We working, we working. Still a man taking off. We doing numbers, we doing numbers. Oh, oh, hey, uh -huh. No, I didn't, didn't. No, you forget. It's going. It's roll. It's on the ball. Oh, labels. <laughs> At this time, we have a label work going on. We have. Major labels, four, five, ten, hundred labels calling us, ready to get meetings, flying us out here and there. At this time, we 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 travel. We get, we trying to figure out okay, well, who gonna be the best deal for us at this time? This is when we signed to Sony RCA. For those of you who don't know, we'll post that video when we first got our first deal. We first signed. We were signed to them for what two years, I think. So um, at this time, we walk in the door. Wedgie comes about. We're in the process. We just about to sign a deal. Wedgie and my booty comes out. So, mind you guys, we walked Wedgie into and our son's house and did with two hits. Still her man and, and both of them was right beside each other on the charts competing. And to this day, people are still dancing to Wedgie and my booty. It's still her man. Do we have to pull up those videos? Okay, we'll put those in. Cut my hair like this swing. Yeah! Hey! Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it! Because it's, it, 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 it's definitely got a bunch of views on TikTok since they said we came from TikTok. Right now, <laughs> that's crazy. The, the song four years old and it's on TikTok again, trending. Now again, and this is a new app that just came out. But it didn't do nothing for the culture. It didn't mean nothing for the culture. So, okay. We we it, it, it's it. trending. We got two records. We signed now. We doing our thing. We travel. We moving around. Okay. We them bitches. So guess what? Everybody want to be around those bitches. So everybody hitting us up. We start getting calls from everybody. Like just people want to link up with us. People just want to collab. People just want to be around. So right. at this point. So this, so this is what people don't know too. So at that time, we had the internet so unlocked that it was crazy. Everybody that was everybody was supporting the Taylor girls dancing to the set Taylor Girls music, just supporting us as a whole. And I appreciate every one of y'all that was a part of that wave. Because we created the dance wave. And let me, let me just give homage to all the people in our era who was really a part of the real dance wave. But not only that, we got we to give them the dance homage. Because. Right. So starting off, it was Zay Hillfigure. It, oh, no, we didn't do that. It was Nene. Okay. Then mm -hmm. it was Zay Hillfigure. Then it was I Heart Memphis. And it was D-Lo. And, and her. And you cannot forget Salento. Oh, yes. Oh, damn. Salento. And then it was Taylor. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. What? Didn't I just name all guys? Yeah. And we were the only females, the Taylor girl, that had a dance record at the time. That was all men against all men. men. All men. That's another thing that Taylor Girls brought to the culture. Since we don't bring shit to the culture, we brought a dance wave, a up, dance man. industry that was nothing like dancing. One nobody day was re day. nobody was representing for the females. It was nobody. Every person that was on that dance wave and that was making people get about their seat and move was all men. created by men. It was nobody. We were the only females. The only females. females. So that's something that we brought to the, uh, the table, the dance wave for females. 
it was okay for a female to compete against niggas and have a dance song that was just as big, if not bigger, and still be competing. And you gotta understand. If, I mean, we just been, we, at, at this point in, in my life, I'm not sugarcoating anything. Because we've been humble for so long, and I feel like a lot of people want you to be humble and not and downplay your accomplishments. Okay, well, let me say this. Still Man came out four years ago, right? Mm -hmm. If we go and look at everybody who came out with us, tell me what all of them are doing. That, that enough says Jeez. a lot for who we are as women, who we are as Jeez. business women, who we are as people, and who we are as creators. We've always revamped ourselves. We've always stayed in front of the way. We've always created a new way. We've always been ahead of all y'all motherfuckers and y'all just now catching up. And y'all still ain't even there yet. But okay, we off that. Since people don't really know about, like I said, we was doing music before. So we was doing music before, but what y'all know us from really is those funny videos. So we went from doing funny videos, and this is how y'all see it, funny videos to becoming artists. Signed artists. Wrong. No, they didn't know about that. Right. So I can't fault them for not knowing that. We weren't known then. So when I'm I'm getting them to see the timeline, okay. we was doing the videos, then they started to learn and know us as artists. Okay? So now we're artists. We got Stella Man, we got Reggie, we got all these songs. We pop it, we bubble right. Right. This video comes up of Chris and Queen doing the Stella Man challenge with their son. We need to pull that video up, find that video up. I, I, I will really post it. Chris, and Chris reaches out. Like, yeah, man, we love y'all. We support y'all. Y'all need to come link up with us and do some YouTube videos. We had nothing. We had, we we had, had never, never been a YouTube video other than music. If y'all go back and we pull this up, mm. we had only been doing music on our YouTube. We had no nothing about, no nothing else. We, we didn't know YouTube shit videos. about YouTube at all. And I'm not even going to sit here and cap and say I did. I didn't know anything about YouTube. I thought YouTube was somewhere where you upload your music. Right. I didn't know that you can do actual videos in your life. I didn't know about all that. We weren't doing all that. So we go and link up with Chris and Queen. This is Chris and Queen at the time, so don't be talking shit. <laughs> right. Chris and Queen was trying to get into the music. They were big in the YouTube world. We were big in the music right. world. Right. They wanted to start doing music. So they mm -hmm. see us going up. They see where we at in our career. And they're looking for advice from us or seeing what, how can we help their situation. So at this point, it's basically like, look, we're going to put y'all on YouTube. Y'all help us with this music shit. And as we one hand watch the other. At right. that time, they teaching us, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with them. Pretty appreciate y'all for what y'all did for us. They, you know what I'm saying? Chris so, showed us how to make money on there. He told us how long the videos need to be. He told us that we need to the ads. He basically was everything we need to all to pay. succeed at YouTube. So, man, that's your bathroom. And you can make the same type of money in the, you know, yeah, in the comfort of your home. So, you know, at this time, we done learned. So, we started doing videos with them. We did our first video. Uh, all right, so they ended that. Um, they said they're going to do a part two. Man, um, I learned a lot just now about the Taylor girls that I didn't even know, you feel me? Um, I fucks with the Taylor girls. I always fuck with the Taylor girls. If you, I think we had some videos up uh, that we reacted to the Taylor girls, but they got motherfucking signed and all that shit some years ago. So I'm going to take that shit down because ain't no motherfucking copyright. But it's just crazy. Like, I, I just want to know how all this shit got started. Like, who wasn't putting respect on the Taylor girls' names, yo? Like, I just... It just be crazy how shit is. Like, why can't everybody just get the fuck along? Why can't everybody just... We we, we as black people, and I'm going to say this because sometimes it really be the black people that's bashing the other black people. 
We got to do better than that, man. These are two beautiful young black women, black queens doing that thing with the music, doing that thing with YouTube. And I didn't even know that they wasn't even fucking with YouTube in the beginning. Like, I found out about them from YouTube. When I got into YouTube, because just like Ty said, I ain't know shit about YouTube either. I ain't know people was on there, you know, uploading videos and actually this was a job for them. I thought that was just where you upload your music at and shit. So, I mean, I just hope and pray and wish. I mean, I know it's just like a wish. It's like a dream that I want to come true. I just wish everybody could get along. Everybody could give each other props. Everybody could come together as a culture, as a whole, and just work, do good shit for the community, yo. And stop saying, this person ain't do that, this person ain't do that. Put respect on everybody name that did something, you feel me? So, I'm going to end this video right here, yo. Comment down below and let me know what y'all feel about this. Make sure y'all don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me some comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what y'all feel about this video right here.